Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question that is a GATE CSE 2014 set to 2 question phase. Okay, yes. So the question is given in this way guys. Okay, so the question is uh, suppose n and, uh, n and p are unsigned variables. Okay, so there is no sign for them unsigned int variables in a C program. Okay, so we wish to set p to nc3 so basically this is printed twice so nc3 so basically we want to equate p to nc3 value okay if n is a large okay so we are trying to check the values of very very greater values of n guys so we want very very large values okay so it should be in this way so n values we want very very large so which one of the following statement will be correct okay so if you concentrate carefully all the four options will give you the same result guys but their operations are different are you observing it guys? I think you are observing it, right? Yes. So if you observe here, so if you multiply them internally, so basically this 3 into 2 is 6, this 3 into 2 is 6, this is 6.0. So all options are exactly same. Okay. If you just substitute the values, you will get the same answers again and again. So that is the reason why this question cannot be solved with the help of substitutions. So this question can be solved only with your imagination or understanding guys. Okay. Yes. So assume that you took the value of n really, really large. Okay, so if you multiply that n with the n minus 1 and if you again multiply that with the n minus 2, so I am talking with respect to option 1 and d, sorry option a and d, okay. So in option a and d we are doing this, right. So if this is a really large number, okay, assume that you took the last number in the unsigned int guys, okay. So if the range is from 0 to let us assume 16 bit, so the 16 bit means unsigned means there are no signs, right, simply, okay, so 0 to 2 power 16 minus 1, right? Yes. So, this value you took. Okay. So, now you want to multiply this with this. And again, you want to result with this. So, if you multiply them, it's okay. But you can't store them in, the, in your storage, right? So, that is the only reason why A and D are not good if you want to take for largest numbers, guys. Okay, so now your question will be okay. So we got some idea that because the values will exceed the storage limit, we can eliminate those two options. Okay, but now how can you say that among B and C? Okay, so if you observe carefully in B and C, there is a pattern guys. Okay, so let us take a small example. Okay, so assume that the value of n is a 4 guys. Okay, so if you take a B option, the value will be n that is a 4 into 3 by 2 okay into into so here the value will be 2 by sorry uh, 2 by 3 right yes so and similarly in the next option okay that is here n is nothing but 4 into 3 by 3 into value that is a, a 2 by Okay, so among these two, which looks better, guys, with respect to cal calculation? Okay, so with this, uh, there is a bit confusion, right? So let us take one more number. So I'll, why I am saying confusion is there? I'll be saying because these two numbers are equal, these two numbers are equal. Anyway, they are going to cancel. So these two are equal, these two are equal. So anyway, they are canceling. So let us take some big numbers. Okay, so what shall we take? Shall we take six, guys? Okay, so let us take n equal to six. Okay, so here what is the value? So in both the values, uh, n value is a six. Okay, so it is n minus 1, n minus 1. So here the value is a 2, here the value is a 3. Okay, similarly moving on, here the value is a 4, here the value is a 4 by 2, 4 by 3. Got it? Yes. So now if you observe carefully, so any time it is always better to take n into n minus 1 by 2, right? Because if here denominator we are having a 2 means, so among n or n minus 1. So, any one of them will be an even number, right? So, the division of 2 will be possible either with this or with this. So, the number will reduce, right? So, our goal is to reduce the number, right? Yes. So, here this will be the better option and n minus 2 by 3. Okay. So, this might be correct in some cases and this might be wrong in some cases, guys. Okay. Yes. So, with this understanding, like n into n minus 1 by 2. So basically with that, if you want to get the minimum value, so among any one of them will be compulsory, it will be even number, right? So any one. So if n is odd number, so n minus 1 will be even. So if n is even number, sorry, n is even number, n minus 1 will be odd number. So any one will be even number. So that is the reason why option B will be the best option, guys. I am not getting a particular case to prove it for you. 
Okay, so let us try any other case. Okay, so let us take seven guys. Okay, with seven you will be getting a clear idea. So seven, seven, six, six, five, five. Okay, so here you are having a three. Here you are having a two. Okay, here you are having three. Okay, so again these two are cancelling, right? Yes. So most of the cases it is cancelling. So if you take really large numbers, I think you will be seeing an effect. Okay. Yes. So the best case will be if you take here two guys rather than three. The only reason is because any one of them will cancel and the number will become smaller. That's the goal here. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. Like why I am saying B is the correct option. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.